All right, guys, a lot of flooding. It's been tough, but uh, we're gonna go do some frogging in the lily pads. All right, guys, nothing but short strikes on the topwater frog. So now I'm gonna go to the whopper plopper bone color 110, fish it around the lily pads, see if we can get something. Top water did not work anywhere along the lily pads, so we're gonna fish some open water in about five to three feet. And we are gonna go right back to the wacky rigged worm. ES is here. Hey everybody, we should catch some fish now. <sighs> Everything's been flooded. Most lakes are closed around here. Let's see if we can get some fish. Fishing ultralight gear. So I don't want to rip them in. Oh. Come here. Come here. Just a little guy. I let him swallow the hook so we get to show Eric how to dislodge it. So the hook swallowed. Okay. Reach up in through here and you turn it. Boom. Like butter. Nice job. Let's get back at him. Probably shouldn't have now that I said that, but. That would have been a fight on, uh, that would have been a fight on ultra, right? Oh, yeah. Nah. Nice fish. Right in the roof of the mouth, man. That's why I like the smell knot. Well, that's been pretty good to me. About the same size as the other one. Wacky rigged, uh, this one's yum dinger this time. Switched because I got bit off by a little pike with the little tiny one and the light gear. So I'm going back to my medium light gear and fishing the stick baits. Wacky rigged. Yum dinger guys, yum dinger. folks <laughs> look what we have here oh peel and drag might need the net on this one well I'll grab the net nice today <laughs> grab the net today there buddy <laughs> oh where is he? Where is he? He wants to take off under the boat. Nice job. Thank you. Probably didn't need it, but I could see the hook hanging out of his mouth, and I did not want to lose it. So far, my biggest of the day. Sixteen inches. Let's see. 15 and a half, I was close. Nah. Nah. He's fat though, look at that. Yes. Wow. Look at this war mouth, dude. Holy cow. Went right down in the weeds. <laughs> this is the biggest one I've ever caught, I think. 10 ounces, dude. Nice.
Watch those treble hooks, buddy. Them things hurt. You know what? I ain't got my uh, little mode on. Little, little guy. Let's try not to drop him. <laughs> I don't repile him. <laughs> Jerk bait. I'm gonna get him back in the water because I'm laughing too much. Point twelve. Bunch of little dinks on the light rod and reel, the four inch wacky rig. Um, but having some fun. Little jerk ate my worm. More little dinks, but all the big ones. Can't seem to find them. So, just gonna have some fun, keep having fun. But I'm on four pound test and I got you, bro. <laughs> oh, oh it's stay big. on, stay it's on. Pretty big. It's pretty big. <laughs> keep them on. I just switched to the Bass Pro Shop brand, too, with the red flake. I don't even see him. He's, he's out front. Okay, okay. This is awesome, dude. That's cool. <laughs> so you got them on the tiny? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just work them back to me. Yep, and... yep. yep. It's always trying to get in there. Yeah, I know. Stay down, stay down. There we go, That's here we go. Decent sized bass, man. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna over. quickly come over. Yep. Look at that. Nice. Look at the weight on that. <laughs> Got this. Second big one in two days on this little tiny four inch. This is a BPS uh, Sticko four inch. I'm using my ultralight <laughs> yeah, Bass BPS. It's a micro light. Um, yeah, light, just light. It's not an ultra light. So, uh, and a little tiny Mitchell uh, 310. Look at that. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Fish bra. Let's, let's get a length on this bad boy. 18? I don't know. He looks fatter than he looks. Almost just, oh, just nice. about. Cool. Three pounds? No, three and a quarter. Not even 2.15. Let's try this one more time. Yeah, reset that. Belly on that. 18 inches in the belly on that. That's way bigger than the one I had. Remember, Let's mine was skinny. Just three pounds, basically. Okay. That was almost there the last time. Sometimes you don't need to fish enormous baits to catch, and I'm not going to say it's enormous, but big fish. Sometimes big fish will bite on smaller baits. Keep that in mind. Let's let her go. Oh, you're kidding me. You're good, except for you got fish on the front of your shirt. Oh, <laughs> I was warning it's all over my hand. <laughs> That's all right, man. All right, guys, so I'm gonna do my quick little outro here. Wasn't a whole lot today. Um, 
tough day, so we decided to go with some smaller presentations, caught some decent sized fish on some smaller baits, particularly this right here. This is a Bass Pro Shop um, Sticko in a four inch. This is Watermelon Red Flake. Done the trick today. Um, also got a cool underwater release. If you're watching it to this point, thank you. Uh, don't forget to check out the links at the end of my video. Thanks for watching, and as always, fish on.